Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you have not seen my face before, if you end up enjoying this video, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. Become part of the family before you go. It has already been such a long day working on the computer, but it is finally time to go grocery shopping. So here we go, ready to take you guys along. She is layered up today. It is cold outside. Under here, I'm wearing a little tank top from Cotton On. It is so thick and comfy, you do not even need a bra. So wearing that, then we've got this Boohoo cropped um, black hoodie. This is from Goodnight Macaroon. I will tell you that when I ordered this, the shipping took forever. I don't know if it was just because of Corona or whatever, but if you do order this, just know it's going to take a while. But well worth the wait. Really nice and thick and comfortable. Jacket is Ralph Lauren. I'm wearing my Lululemon Align leggings, some fuzzy socks, and my Boohoo boots. And my purse is from Princess Polly. I'm also wearing these cute little earrings from Princess Polly. They're like little danglies. And then these are from Amazon. Zane got me them for Christmas. They're just like little studs. Put my hair up because she needs to be washed. And then I'm also wearing a new lipstick. I had one from Physicians Formula that I bought a really long time ago and I absolutely loved it, but I can't find it anywhere. I think they must have discontinued it or something like that. So I bought this one yesterday at Target. It is the NYX Lingerie, which I've used before. I don't know if I've necessarily tried this shade though, and I actually really like it with my skin tone. I think it looks like a good nude. I was worried it was gonna be too brown, but I feel like... Well, this is the shade Push Up, and I feel like it looks good. I know that I liked this formula, so I'm glad that I like the shade. I feel like it's taking a gamble when you buy a lipstick. It's like, you just, it always looks different in the bottle, you know? I'm gonna leave this light dimmed a little bit, even though it has night vision, but if you see right there, there's a little pet cube. They had sent me it a while ago as PR, and I hadn't plugged it in for a long time, but I always forget about it, so I plugged it in, and I pay for it monthly, like six bucks a month or something, so I'm gonna um, keep it on today and check up on them once in a while. I just opened up the app right here, so you could see it like shows the whole living room, and then it like records when there's movement so we'll check up on them maybe when I'm out if I remember you could literally see me standing here right now recording this <laughs> it's pretty cool though the app and everything and they have like vet assistance too this isn't sponsored or anything but I do have it on my Amazon store Amazon store if you guys are interested in a little pet camera I think it's pretty affordable too okay we're off to Lidl I'm not gonna go too crazy, I say that every time, but we need some meats and some fresh vegetables. We have a pretty full freezer. We just have a good amount of stuff in here. We have a few frozen items, and some french fries, hot dogs, <laughs> some frozen veggies. We have Halo Top, we have bread, we're good on that. Yesterday I went to Target, Zane took me to do some returns and we grabbed a few things. I put it on my Instagram story, if you guys missed that, make sure you're following me on Insta because I vlog things that well, I insta-story things that I'm not vlogging. Um, so we ended up getting eggs yesterday, and we just really need some fresh vegetables. We're good on almond milk for sure. Just some fresh veggies and meat, pretty much. We are making pupusas in like two days, and I think that might be my last video before my little break. So I have to grab some ingredients for that, which is a lot of like fresh stuff, so should be fairly simple. I have these little produce bags that I just bought from Home Goods. We're gonna bring those. We have some reusable bags in the car. Bring my mask, my keys, and we're ready to go. I'll be back, okay? Oh my God, there's a million people working on that roof. Holy crap. I can't tell you guys how many times I bend down and I don't close this properly and I spill it almost every time. <laughs> Before I pull off, I was just checking on the cats just to see what they're doing. And when you open this camera, I think it makes like a ta-dong sound. And so they're just sitting here looking at the camera. I'm pretty sure I could talk to them too. Let me see. Oh yeah, look, I can talk to them. Let's see. Bailey Bench? My babies? Oh, my babies, I love you. Can I hear them? Oh, it's playing through the car. Oh, you guys hear the ambiance? <gasps> Bailey Bench? They're so confused, they're like frozen. They're just looking around. Okay. I don't want to confuse you guys. I'll check in on you in a little bit. Okay, bye. What are we bumping to today? Right, let's see. Playlist January. Ooh, this is a good one. Zayn Malik's new song? Yes, please. Vibes. 
Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Oh my god, you guys, I'm running out of here with my eyes closed. <laughs> also, I'm not even vlogging next week, so I really didn't want to get this much because I know I'm not going to be filming cooking, so I don't know. A lot of this is shelf-stable and I can freeze, so that's good. I'm going to cook, but I don't like to make the new cool stuff unless I'm filming for you guys, you know? blacked out. I don't know what happened. <laughs> what happened? Why can't I stop? It's so bad. It's not bad because it's food and we need it. It's not like I'm buying like things that I don't need. Like we're gonna eat all of this. But like really it was $193. But I did get a lot of meat. We got a lot of fresh veggies. Got some frozen stuff. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you guys everything obviously. I'm gonna go home and put this all away and then I don't know, I'm feeling a Walmart trip. I don't need much, but it just sounds fun to go there, possibly. Maybe we'll see if Zane wants to go. Maybe I won't even go, but let's head home and put all of this away first and show you what I got. Starting the car would help. I did all of that at self-checkout, you guys. Pretty efficient. My cashier skills from when I was 16 were coming in handy. I have so much fun though, honestly. I have so much fun though, honestly, just walking around there, taking my time, browsing everything. Like, it's so fun for me to grocery shop. Don't touch it, though. Bella? I know. It's so cold. Oh. I know. Daddy's on his way home. He'll give you dinner. Feeling? Oh my chubbies. You're getting so chubby. Literally, you guys, I think we might have to switch her to adult cat food now. I'm supposed to technically put them on kitten food until they're one, but she has gotten so chubs and kitten food is like higher calorie. Where are you going? Kitten food is like higher calorie so that they grow. But she is legitimately getting fat. She's getting, she's chubs. You are getting very chubby. I think we need to switch you to regular food. She doesn't stop eating. I want to do more research on it though because I don't know if she needs like the nutrients in the dry kitten food. But she is definitely really heavy for her age. Let me see if I can show you in the mirror. Look at her. Even when she sits down, like... She's all of a sudden just got so fat. <laughs> You're so chubs. And she's eating all the time. Hey, you look kind of cute though. Look at that little leg. Oh, you're so happy. I got the purrs. What's that little leg doing? Put it up here. You have a big head with a little body. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> a big body with a tiny little head. <laughs> she looks so funny. You're so big. Look at this big chunker. And it's not even just because I'm holding her. Like, look at her. Chunky monkey. You're eating good, Bailey. Like, hey, 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 hey. Look at her compared to Bella. Like, she's like wider than her. And we just took them to the vet to get their nails clipped. So if the vet thought that anything was wrong, like a tumor or anything, she would have said something. I think she literally just eats a lot. <laughs> All right, well, here goes a little haul. I have that girl's song stuck in my head. I need the tea on it because I'm too lazy to read into it. The, the girl, Olivia, that made that song about some guy and Bailey. 
out of my way. The song is so good. It's so fun to like yell in the car because it's so emotional, but I don't know the backstory behind it. There's some drama that I am not caught up on. Okay, Lidl haul, here we go. Zane is obsessed with these potato rolls. Who isn't? But got those for him. I love my sourdough. We're both on different kicks right now. Got some egg whites. I finally finished all like the leftovers and crappy foods that we had in the fridge. So I'm ready to get back to my clean eating. Some carrots. Although we did have um, HelloFresh this week, which was really delicious and fresh. I got some of these frozen breakfast sandwiches. These are really good. Canadian bacon, egg white, and cheese. I know, Canadian bacon is just ham, but that's just what we call it here, I guess. I guess ham formed in the size of a circle is what we call Canadian bacon. I know you guys comment about it a lot. They're like, mm, I'm from Canada, like what? That is not Canadian bacon, that's ham. We have real bacon. Zane's manager is actually from Canada, so I want to see what he thinks if I'm like, what do you think about Canadian bacon, you know? Anyways, um, we got some canola oil. Uh, the pupusas call for a tablespoon of that in one of the things that we're making for it, which that is way more, but I figured we'll use it for something else, you know? We got some ice cream sandwiches for the freezer. I actually have self-control when it comes to sweets. I like salty better, so, but I know Zane loves those. But I'll have one once in a while. This general, hello? This frozen General's House chicken is so good. If you have a ladle near you, highly recommend you try it. Got some cauliflower, frozen rice, some strawberries. You guys know I'm having my smoothies, sticking to it. Some mixed veggies, frozen peas, frozen tortellini. I think that's it for the frozen stuff because you guys saw our freezer is packed. I found these hand sanitizing wipes. I thought these would be good to keep in the car. Salt, boring. Some more vanilla extract. With my kitchen aid, I've been doing more baking and I don't want to run out. I like to have that on stock. Um, I thought that these would be good for like sandwiches, like some grilled chicken and some balsamic and cheese on sourdough with some bell peppers. Ooh, that sounds so good. So these are um, roasted peppers in a jar. I got some honey because ours was like dried out. I don't know what happened. It was not expired. Some enchilada sauce. You guys know I love using these in recipes. We got some green and some red. I love things that are like pantry shelf stable because I feel like I can stock up on them, you know? I got these dried tomatoes in sunflower oil and olive oil. I saw a skinny taste recipe of stuffed chicken with like sun-dried tomatoes. I think that's what this is. It doesn't say sun-dried, but it says dried tomatoes. So I would assume same, same concept. I also got some capers because I've also seen recipes with this that I want to try. And I haven't actually seen these at Lidl. So I figured again, shelf stable. We'll cook something when I get back from my break. Don't worry, I'll save the fun experimental stuff a lot of this stuff is like I'm gonna freeze a lot of the meat and then most of it is shelf stable and then the fresh stuff we go through really quickly so um, I got just some more baking soda I always stock up on random things like that I actually got tahine because I've heard a lot about it and never tried it before don't even know what it tastes like but it's supposed to be like lime I think like a kind of lime spicy flavor maybe I don't know but I've seen people put this on a lot of stuff like People put it on cucumbers, which is interesting, but I want to try it. Um, I believe we need more cayenne pepper, so I got another one. So I got a bag of lemon and limes because Zane has been making some like fresh cocktails, and um, I figured he, these would be useful. Or even on like um, dishes when I cook, like lime zest is really good. So I learned that from HelloFresh. The zest adds such a good flavor. Hi, Bench, get down. These are amazing to have, the um, fusilli pasta with the broccoli, the pasta side. I like this one so much better than the fettuccine, actually. So I grabbed two of these, my favorite one. Just some chicken broth to have. Some unsalted butter, I think we're almost out of butter. Some non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I think I'm gonna prep some pizza dough because now we have flour that is good. This just called my name, this Bella. Oh, she's freaking out over the carrots. Oh, anybody else's cat freak out over carrots? Like, what is with that? No. Anyways, <laughs> this is a potato pancake mix, which basically latkes. And I remember having these in like elementary school at like the holiday parties. They're a Jewish kind of fried potato cake, but so good. And I know I could probably make them homemade, but I don't know. I just wanted to try this little box. Like how can it not be delicious, you know? It basically says you just add eggs, water, the mix, and then some vegetable oil. And then you like fry it up. Maybe I'll try like air frying them. I don't know, but ooh. Love me anything with potato. Zane has been really missing bars. I have a lot of bars in the pantry, but they all have whey and that really bothers him, like whey protein. So I got him just regular chocolate. 
regular chocolate chip granola bars and then I also got him these to try I got those as a backup because I don't know if he's gonna like these but these are energy and endurance bars and they have 10 grams of protein which is really good these are higher calorie though these are 250 those are 100 but these are obviously like I don't know like healthier more organic I guess it has like organic brown rice rolled oats but I don't know if he's gonna like them so we got two. All right, let's get the meat over with because I got a lot of it. Like I said, we freeze most of it so it lasts a long time. And I like to have a stock up because I don't like to go to the grocery store like every single week, especially when it's cold. Summertime, I'll go there all the time, but when it's cold, I don't want to be grocery shopping all the time. Um. Anyways, we just got some turkey breast. This is like for sandwiches and stuff, you know? Some ground beef. This is a 96% lean. I also found uh, shaved steak. I love shaved steak. Put that in ramen or just like fry it up with some like onions and peppers and then put it on some rice. It's so easy and delicious. Um, we got some ground turkey breast. This is 99% lean. Bella, get away from the damn carrots. You psycho. Look at this. What is wrong with you? She doesn't even want to eat them either. She just like wants to smell them and like rub on them. Luckily they're in a plastic bag, but like you're so strange. So weird. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, mama. I'm gonna put these away. Look, look, these carrots are chopped up. Have fun with that one. Bella, that's the weirdest thing. It's like she gets high, like it's catnip. So weird. Okay, enjoy. All right, so I thought this would be something new for us. We've never really made drumsticks. I think maybe once or twice. We've done chicken wings, but not drumsticks. And I saw a TikTok of these in the air fryer. They looked absolutely delicious. So I figured we'd give it a go. So cheap. four sixty eight for like three and a half pounds of them. So I'm like, I don't know. Let's season them up. Put them in the air fryer, put them in the oven, whatever. They also didn't have the boneless, skinless chicken thighs that we like. They only had bone skin on, so I got those instead. I got these for me because they have sesame seeds on them. They're like pre-made spicy crab rolls, but I love having these for like just a lunch during the day when I don't feel like making anything. They come in clutch and they're delicious. I also got three packs of these um, like wannabe crab sticks. They're delicious, they're low calorie, I can freeze two of the packets, and I like to just either dip them in soy sauce, you can make sushi rolls with them, maybe I'll do that over my break. Just enjoy making some sushi maybe. <laughs> Or I'll go to a restaurant and buy some sushi and treat myself. I like this as a snack. I just put it on a plate with some avocado, dip it in some soy sauce. Or I like to make connie salads. I use the whole pack and I shred it up and put it with some spicy mayo. And I have a recipe for that on my channel, but connie salad is absolutely delish. Zane's going to be happy about this. We love our ribeye steaks, so I got two of them for Zane and I. I also don't know if you guys remember, but a while ago I tried to make crab ragoon like wontons. And I used the um, imitation crab meat that I showed you guys and it just was not good. So I actually got real crab. This was like 12 or $13 for this little amount of crab. So when does this go bad actually? Can I freeze this? I would like to make those with you guys, but January 21st. I might freeze this so that I can make it with you guys. But also you saw how to make them in that vlog. So maybe I'll just make them off camera, but I wanna try making them with real crap, so got that. And then I also got just a big thing of chicken breast. I'm gonna do my meal prep where I put it in the crock pot, make some shredded chicken. You'll see in a second, I got a lot of greens because I wanna start eating my salads again, and I like having my shredded chicken with the salads, so. I'm gonna meal prep that. I'll probably do that today, actually. I used my new reusable bags and we got some fruits and veggies. Liar, Alyssa, you did not get any fruit. We don't really eat that much fruit. <laughs> I got some veggies. I got a giant head of cabbage. This is for the um, kind of like salsa thing that goes on top of pupusas. I also got some sweet potatoes. I think I might put these, maybe, some of them into the slow cooker or meal prep them in the oven. I got a big thing of russet potatoes. Well, you know what? I like the other ones better. Better, but whatever we'll still eat these um what are those other ones called Yukon gold I think those are way better than russet I just grabbed these and didn't even think about it because we always eat these but I saw a lot of you guys made those um, potato nachos that we made like maybe two weeks ago and you guys have been loving them I absolutely loved them so I definitely want to make those again they were so easy to make I also like to meal prep potatoes as well and have them I just got a jar of sauce I got another thing of garlic I go through this like it's I don't know, what do people go through really quickly? I go through it so fast. Okay, you're like Alyssa, you said you're gonna eat better. Where's all the fresh stuff? Here's the bag, ready? Giant thing of spinach. I personally really love salads. Just 
spinach and arugula that's really all i need i used to do romaine but i honestly don't even like need it i love just spinach and arugula the flavors together the texture like everything about it just love and these are like ready to eat they're washed already so salads are in my near future i got two regular tomatoes and then i also got a bag of roma tomatoes this is all for the pupusa recipe how freaking cute is this little tiny bag like i can't green peppers i got a ton of bananas i know zane is gonna eat these and take them to work but i also want to do some baking with bananas so i got a bunch of them some onions I'm actually out of onions. How weird is that? Some shallots. Personally, I prefer asparagus that's thinner. These are really girthy, but that's kind of all that they had. And I just love me some asparagus. So maybe I'll cut this up. Ooh, maybe tonight we should make a pasta. Asparagus and pancetta, like a carbonara. Ooh, because we have pancetta. That sounds really good. Maybe I'll make that. And maybe I'll challenge myself and like make my own recipe instead of using somebody else's. Some green onions. I've been out of green onions for so long and you guys know I'm obsessed with my scallions. So got a pack and I think that might be everything. I mean, really though, like so much stuff for almost 200 bucks. Like little, where's my sponsor? Because I love you. Oh my God, I just put it all on here to get a thumbnail. <laughs> Why are you guys so hyper? There's no carrots over here. You have carrots on the floor. Bella, <gasps> get your carrot. Oh no, oh gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I just set everything up to get a thumbnail and look at this, so satisfying. I actually got a lot of good stuff. I didn't go too, too crazy, you guys. I could have gone pretty worse. <laughs> oh my God, look who it is. <gasps> Belly. Belly, you have a win me. Oh, yep, there she goes, assume position. Yell at him. Tell him you're hungry. Belly? Aww. Baby. What's up? Bailey's so fat. <laughs> Bailey, I don't make fun of you. We really need to look into if we can take her off the kitten food. I think. I told you we can. I don't know. I'm, what if she needs the nutrients? Where is she? She's got all the nutrients. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Are you full of nutrients? Look at that body. Girl, look at that boy. You always make me feel like home, yeah. You never leave my thoughts alone, yeah. You, you're the reason I'm going out of my I just can't stop thinking about you. All right, I'm pretty proud of this, you guys. I organized the fridge really well for how much stuff that we have. You just saw everything that we got, so I'm not gonna like bore you with it all, but I cleaned the shelves, put everything in here nice and fresh, so we're set for the week. Also, the freezer looks pretty nice as well. I decided to put the crab in here, so we'll make that next week. But um, yeah, everything's in here pretty nicely. I fit everything up here. All the little ice cream sandwiches, so cute. Oh, something leaked, we gotta clean that. I decided to make a pasta carbonara, I'm excited. We have the pancetta this time. I feel like whenever I wanna make this, I never have the pancetta. We have the shredded parm. We are gonna use fusilli instead of spaghetti because we have it and it's fun. And I'm gonna actually use asparagus as well as peas. We got the eggs out here. We don't need avocado or baby bells, but they're just in the same container for right now because I didn't fit the rest of them in the egg holder, whatever. Zane's setting up the chicken for some meal prep. Don't forget to salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and I'm real excited to make this, so let's start her up. First things first, we're gonna rinse our asparagus. Four hours on high, right? Maybe one is enough with peas. Yeah. Right. With peas? Definitely. All right, just one packet of asparagus. I'm gonna get the big deep pan heating up with some olive oil in it. I'm gonna go ahead and chop off, well, break off the ends of my asparagus. These asparagus are massive. Oh my god. <clears throat> I hate to bother you, but what are the chances you could change your angle so I can try to do some dishes? I would love that. It wouldn't be a bother at all. We're also gonna chop off a small onion and get the onion all over the asparagus. Great job. Along with that, we're gonna do a few cloves of garlic. Crush it, crush it, crush it, crush it, and peel. And we chop, 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 chop. This board has gotten like warped. It's like kind of uneven. Really? Yeah, you, don't you hear it? Um, or it's our table. Yeah, no, I think it's the counter. The counter. All right, so first we're gonna hold off on the garlic and first into our olive oil pan, we're gonna go in with the onion and asparagus. 
I'm making up my own rules here. I'm really just going for it. I've watched my old video on how I make the carbonara, so I'm just gonna make the sauce the same, but I'm kind of like winging it on just like everything else. So we're putting in some frozen peas in there with it. Delish. I mean, come on. You can't even tell me that doesn't look amazing. We're gonna salt and pepper it. I'm just gonna let that go for a few minutes until I feel like everything is cooked through. We do have to make the sauce though, and this is actually exciting because now I have my cool bowls that I can make them with, make it with rather. All right, get a bowl, four large eggs into your bowl. Four eggs, whisk. Once those are whisked together, you're gonna take your shredded Parmesan. You could totally shred this yourself. I just happen to have some pre-shredded. And we're going in with a whole cup of it. Beautiful, right in there. Whisk those together. We'll use the rest of this to top it when it's done. We're gonna do a little bit of salt and a good amount of pepper. Mix that in. And that's gonna be our sauce. The egg is gonna heat up onto the freshly cooked pasta so it doesn't make like a scrambled egg. It's just like the heat of the pasta cooks the sauce. There's also versions of carbonara where you make it with heavy cream. This is obviously just a different method. A lot of people make it like this as well. All right, we're getting a little fancy here. I moved the veggies to the outer edge. We're gonna give a very generous drizzle of olive oil right into the middle. And now we're gonna add our pancetta. This is four ounces of it. It's already cubed up right in the middle here. Careful of the oil. And we want her to get nice and beautifully crispy, just like bacon. Okay, I'm going in with the pasta. Again, we're using fusilli. It says 11 minutes for perfect al dente, so that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, the pancetta is starting to get a little bit nice and crispy. I wanted to do it this way because now the juices from this, I'm going to mix it all together and it's going to go amazing with the um, other veggies. First, I'm going to move it out of the way and we're going to put our garlic on for like 30 seconds right here in the middle and then we're going to stir it all together. Little two-pot meal. Who is she? Oh, that garlic smells bomb. Tell me that doesn't look beautiful. Stunning. Oh, this is going to be so good. Now... All that goodness comes together. Oh yes, gorgeous color on everything. Oh, this looks perfect though. This is exactly what I wanted. Look at that. Yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Okay, our beautiful mixture is done. Now before we drain the pasta, we're gonna save some of the water just in case the sauce is too thick. You thin it out with some reserved pasta water. So I'm just gonna take some of that. Beautiful. Now here comes the talent. I'm gonna drain and then put it right back in here and then I'll be right back. Remember what I just noticed? I guess when I fell, I also hit my arm. Look, I have a fat bruise right here. You see this? Oh no. Oh my goodness, you really took a hard fall. Oh yeah, it was hard. I need you. Maybe I can do this myself. Maybe you could just film it. More support. More support plus filmer. Now while the pasta's hot, is it good lighting? Mm-hmm. We're gonna pour in this egg mixture and you're gonna toss because you don't want the egg to scramble like a scrambled egg. You want it to turn into a sauce from the hot pasta. And I'm keeping it in the middle of these two hot burners because I don't want it to, again, I don't want it to scramble. That Parmesan is gonna melt. You wanna work quickly, efficiently, <laughs> and it's gonna turn into a delicious, Creamy sauce. Oh my god, all the Parmesan was left at the end. Quickly get it all out. And toss her super fast. Look at it. See? It's turning into a creamy sauce. Are we getting that? Macaroni in a pot? Oh yeah. Is that wet? Oh my god. I think this is the best that's ever come out. You know why? Usually I use that like pre-packaged grated parm. Not that I've shredded this myself, but it's a little more fresh than that. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it looks and smells like mac and cheese. Do we have any scramble? I think I did it. Look at that. Cheese. Damn, that looks so good. <laughs> okay, now, now we're gonna add in our goodness. Right in. This pan is so heavy. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is kind of like my own recipe. Then toss it all together. Oh my lord. Send me that don't look delicious. The fusilli, the pancetta. 
You got the peas, you got the onions, the garlic. <laughs> I don't think I have any scrambleage. I think I did that. Now we plate. Oh, Jesus, Alyssa. Some fresh basil on top. You could also do parsley. I prefer basil. Where'd the parm go? Did you take the parm? Yeah, I got it. Oh, I was gonna make it look pretty. Oh. Some parm. It's super cheesy, so it doesn't need much, but ooh, looks so good. Now that is some delicious carbonara, everybody. Mm. Actually turned out well. I didn't even need that extra pasta water. Turned out good. Okay, I'm trying, babe. It might need salt. I didn't want to overdo it, but... Come on. A little bit of salt, but she is great. Is all of it? No. Okay. Oh, yeah. Did I overhear you say that this is, like, kind of your recipe? Kind of, here and there. I took, like, what I know about carbonara and what I've yeah. made before and, like, did my own thing. Damn, baby. Mmm. The fusilli leaf is really... It's really good. It was a really good choice. Mm -hmm. For sure. Usually it's spaghetti, but... Yeah. I love it. Damn, I'm so happy you decided to make this. It's so good. Now after this, we have all fresh groceries. We're back to our grind, okay? <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. Please make this. And it's so easy. I like the asparagus in it too. Usually people don't do that. And I haven't seen a lot of people use um, onion either. Yeah, it's so good. I actually would like more pancetta. All right, we want to watch TikToks? Yes. Isn't it annoying to watch what we eat though? Because then you have to change it or you don't care? No, I don't care. Okay. It's the best entertainment that we can agree on. It's true. <laughs> Not us eating the entire thing of pasta. <laughs> oh my God, somebody stop us. It was so good. That was the best I've ever made that. Okay, I'm just like tidying up, doing random little organizing and stuff. Zane fell asleep on the couch, knocked out. So I'm just having fun with some organizing and whatnot. I wasn't filming, but I guess I can share with you guys. I was just doing the bathroom closet. Oh my God, look at that wall. Cause that's where I keep myself tanning stuff. <laughs> I was just doing the bathroom closet because it kind of has become a mess. I did this basket as like extras, like extra toothpaste and razors and whatnot. And then this one has like um, sickness stuff, <laughs> like some vitamin C packets and band-aids and Tums and whatnot. I don't really have a place to keep this right now, but these can just sit in front of here. And then there's an extra shaving cream that should be with the extra stuff. This is where my self tanning basket goes, but I'm trying to fit everything in here. It's become a disaster, clearly. I just condensed though. I took out the emergency packets and I took out the extra toothpaste, so now we can throw away these boxes. I did just get a new mitt and I'm obsessed with it. I used to use the Loving Tan one, but I got this one from uh, Dripping Gold and it's got um, an indent like for your thumb and then it has like the tightness under here so it's so much easier to apply and it's so much more velvety i feel like well they're both pretty good and velvety but i like this one a lot i used it on my tan that i just did and it's really good but this bin has just become an absolute mess <laughs> i have to organize it this back thing that i have i never use i should probably just get rid of it but for some reason i don't want to but i don't like this texture it's like a sponge and it's supposed to like snap into place and then you're supposed to like be able to do your back i guess if you put your mitt on it you can but honestly if i don't have zane to do it i just um put the mitt on my hand backwards or i guess like whatever you put the mitt on you use your hand backwards and i just like get up here i'll go like this and i'll like maneuver myself it's not easy but it gets the job done, especially in the winter. No one's really looking at your back. It is time though to clean my brushes. I have a few of these. This is what I use for, oh my God. I use makeup brushes for my face, my hands and my feet. And I have four of them so that every time I go to do my tan, I have one that's clean. And then once they're all dirty, I end up cleaning them out. But I also use baby powder to set my tan. And as you can see, it's literally everywhere. Do I really care about that? Not really. But these I just literally rinse out with water and then I just let them dry overnight upside down and they're good to go for my next tan. Also, if anybody used to go in the tanning bed like I did, I was addicted. I used to go every other day. So not good for you. But these are a throwback if you've ever gone to tanning salon or if you still go now, whatever. Um, they used to have these and you'd put the sticker on and then you get like the tan line and those goggles. Oh my god. I used to go when I was so young, you guys. Like literally, like I think I was in middle school probably. So young. Or maybe beginning of high school. But back in the day, they didn't have very many laws in place like they do now. Back in the day. I mean, now it was a long time ago. I graduated high school five years ago. That means I'm talking 
oh my god like probably seven or eight years ago anyway i used to go with my sister and you were able to like sign up under somebody that was the age now like you have to be a certain age and there's a lot more laws but back then you could do it but they used to have like all different shapes and stuff let me see if you can see mine you can't really tell but my little heart is right there i just love seeing the tan line and this just gives me like nostalgic vibes it doesn't work as well as the tanning beds because when you rub the mitt over it it kind of gets like under that's why it's not as harsh of a line but it's still really satisfying to see i try to like pat my mitt on top of it you know nobody cares about this but i think it's interesting stuff <laughs> these i'm just gonna keep next to the basket oh my tan remover oh i can't fit everything oh this can go over here that makes sense and then this can go here okay put this back in much better okay now i'm gonna clean my brushes it's gonna be so satisfying i just take like a rag for them to dry on over here. Like I said, literally all that I use is water, but it comes off so easily. Okay, this one isn't as satisfying. It doesn't have that much on it. I actually don't even think that one was dirty. Okay. <laughs> this one is quite obviously dirty with tanner because this is a white brush, so ready. Wow, usually these are so satisfying. Of course, the day that I'm filming it, it's not as satisfying. All right, let's try this one. Look it, see it coming off? That's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> I guess they just weren't as dirty as they usually are. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> Let's try this one. Oh, there she goes. Oh, it's coming out. So since I tan once a week, I have four brushes, so I really only have to do this once a month because I just like space them out. This one really isn't the best for it because you want one that's a little bit more fluffier that disperses it more evenly, but I haven't found a problem with it to be honest. Okay, that's it. This is just stain from makeup because I use it for makeup all the time. Down here has always been a disaster, but like I know where everything is. Like that's just toilet paper and then tissue stocked, stacked on top of it. And then down here is like extra wipes and vacuum supplies. So I know what it is. It just looks messy. And I don't know why, but during renovations, we got rid of the bottom shelf here. There was a third one because I guess I thought I was going to put the vacuum in here, but I never really do because I like to leave it on the charger. That was back when we had like plug-in vacuums, I guess. Now I have wireless ones, <laughs> but a third shelf would be really helpful. Maybe I'll just ask my dad for a piece of wood because he has so much wood and we'll put it in there. So that's essentially what it is anyway. I was also starting to tidy up the bedroom even though we're literally about to go to sleep. <laughs> I need to get a new duvet cover because this one has just become like old and discolored. We've had it for a while now. I think I want to splurge and get a West Elm one. Is that ridiculous of me? Let me know. <laughs> And this one I get questions on all the time with a little detail. I actually got this from Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, one of those a while ago. But it is on West Elm's website, but I don't think it's West Elm brand. But they have like literally the exact same one. So this must have just been a dupe for it. So when I was looking for this, I saw on their website that they have like plain ones too. And they just look so nice and pretty. Is it a stupid splurge? I'm not sure. But a bed is something you use literally every single day. So I feel like nice bedding is like good to invest in, you know? Or a lot of people do, what's that brand that a lot of people do sponsorships with? Brooklinen? Maybe I can hit up my manager. <laughs> the Texture Collection, New York. Yeah, it doesn't say West Elm on it. Must have been a dupe. I have so many extra pillows that I literally just don't know what to do with them. Like, these don't go on here. I'm considering getting a new headboard too like a plain like white or cream one i find that this gray is really hard to like oh that looks terrible i find that this color gray is like really hard to style i guess um i just really like to work with a blank canvas however our cats have become accustomed to destroying this headboard so both the corners are all scratched up and I don't want to buy a new one and have them destroy it again. Yeah, that looks nice. It's fine. Um, I'm tempted to buy new furniture and stuff. Like I want a new kitchen table and um, the new TV stand and maybe a new coffee table and new headboard. Um, but I just kind of want to wait until we buy a house because I just want one in the next few years and like why buy something that may not work in a new space? I don't know. A house within like two to three years is definitely a really big goal of mine so i'd rather save for that a and then b just buy new furniture like when we move into a space and buy something that works for that space although that like plain white cream headboard would work for any space but i like this one and it's fine like we'll just stick with it kitchen table i might do though that i might pull the plug on all right so i think i'm gonna get rid of these pillows these like came with the couch i believe when we bought it 
which I get a lot of questions on. The couch is Ashley Furniture. We got it from like a um, random furniture store, so I didn't think that you could find it online, but I did find it online, and it is sold out right now, but I'll link it for you guys down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. I mean, I checked a while ago, so maybe it's back in stock now. Who knows? Um, tree also. I don't know if I'm loving it right here. It's kind of cute. Nice little pop of green. But I just stuck it here because it was in the living room and I just don't think I want it in there anymore. So I've just been moving things around and whatever. Huh. I thought that this mirror would look silly here right next to this round mirror, but it actually doesn't look terrible in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> it's not that bad. I really don't care that much. <laughs> I got this jewelry organizer off Amazon, by the way, and I just don't know if I love it. I used to have all my jewelry in here, but then it just obviously became a mess. Now it has my coupons from Christmas that I used one for a lazy day, but that's it. But um, I like having everything organized. I just don't know if I love the color of it. It's a little, like, greenish, in my opinion. I don't know why, like... I love this. Like, this is, like, more of, like, a beige. I've had this forever from, like, TJ Maxx. It's a little broken, actually. But I don't know. I'm just not vibing with, like, the undertone of this. I'm gonna keep it because I like to have the extra storage for jewelry. I just might put it elsewhere where it's not so visible. Maybe in the closet. These are random late night thoughts with Alyssa. Is it even late? What time is it? Oh my god, it's 10 o'clock. Who knew? I'm also prepping podcasts for my break, so I don't have to do that either. So we have been pre-recording. We recorded one today. We're recording some tomorrow. That way, literally, I get to just do nothing work-wise and just sit on my butt. Sounds really nice. <laughs> I also have this pillow that I got a while ago from Urban Outfitters. I just threw it right here because this is the little cat sanctuary. I don't know if I'm going to leave it there, but um, it definitely matches with everything. It's cute. I'm getting there with decor. I want to order the pompous grass and I need to get something else to go on this little table. I'm not sure what else, something to fit this area. I still need to style these baskets with something. And I really am thinking that I'm gonna get a new kitchen table because I love the rug, I love the art. I just think it's getting a little bit too bland and white. So maybe like a darker kind of table could be really nice here. I don't know if I wanna stick with the rectangle or if I wanna do like a square with four chairs possibly. I don't know. I just feel like there's so many options. I don't know what to go with. I'm gonna be browsing Pinterest on my week off and ordering things. That way when I come back, we can like maybe get stuff in the mail set things up it'll be like a surprise to you guys <laughs> i definitely have to make a list because i want to get a new key holder as well i'm gonna ask zane as one of my birthday presents if he'll paint this ceiling because we have magic erased it it's from the microwave um it like stained the ceiling because we used to have the microwave higher it was way too high and so it stained the ceiling we used a magic eraser as much as we could and then it just like is stained but i know we have extra paint in the back so i'm gonna ask him if for my birthday he'll paint that <laughs> it's silly but He'll like the idea, I think. I like the idea, at least. I mean, realistically, I could do it myself, but why not use my birthday as an excuse? And then we saw it in Home Goods. I should have bought it, but I saw like a little rolling cart, and I just think that would be so cool because our pantry is always stocked. It was a little three-tiered rolling cart. It was actually kind of looked just like this. I should have freaking bought it. Maybe I'll go look for it tomorrow. Um, it was black metal with like wood three baskets and it rolled so I'm thinking what if I put like potatoes onions like I can put stuff in it and it would be really cute like a little rolling pantry cart I don't know it's an idea because this little space can be filled with something and I think that would be perfect now that I'm looking at it so I might go back and try to find that <laughs> I'm sure I could just order one on Amazon too but um anyways chicken in the crock pot has 48 minutes left I don't want to go to bed until it is done and I also want a clean kitchen tomorrow so I'm gonna do the dishes wallets going I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling like I'm starting to get things in place. And I feel like I'm ready for my break too, you know? All right. Anyways, I'm going to stop blowing your ear off. All that I crave when you're away, nights are sleepless. All right. Chicken in the crock pot is done. I've shown it a bunch of times, but just in case you didn't already know, you put the chicken breast in there with some chicken broth, some salt and pepper, four hours on high. That's it. Shreds like butter. I've done carton chicken broth. I've done chicken bouillon cubes. I've done the um, better than bouillon. What is it called? Just the better than bouillon paste, I guess. Paste kind of thing. I actually kind of like the paste the best. I feel like it makes it the juiciest. Could be in my head, but they all turn out amazing. You can also do it with water too. I just like the flavor of the chicken broth. You don't even need two forks to shred this chicken. That's how tender it is. You just take it out of the broth 
right into your container and literally you shouldn't even have to apply much pressure it just shreds I put this on salads I make quesadillas I'll put it in burritos enchiladas it's good for so many things literally I'll have it with like eggs in the morning it is my favorite meal prep ever and you can fit so much in the crock pot too this time we only did four breasts because we wanted to keep two to make like other things but it's so good to make something in bulk baby bailey you're so chunky i could go on for days and days yeah i'll do the most whoa whoa wait whoa let that cool off and then it goes in the fridge. All right, kitchen is now all nice and clean. I got my full water for tonight. Retainer is in. Why are you getting up on me? What's going on here? Saying goodnight, goodnight. Actually, really quick, one last thing. I wanted to tell you guys a story and this gives me a good segue because I want your opinion on this anyway. <laughs> so this is my brand new blanket. If you watched my haul from Home Goods, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but she's already, um very sad if you listen to the podcast you may have heard this story i don't know if that episode is up already by the time you guys see this however zane and i were relaxing yesterday on the couch i was editing getting some things done and i was like oh my god that drink sounds so good if you guys remember um a few vlogs back i made that rum chata drink with the almond milk and the i have my retainer and sorry it's so weird talking with it the almond milk and the chocolate syrup and it was delicious and the cinnamon and i was like oh that sounds so good right now while i'm editing we're relaxing on the couch and he was like oh it sounds so good and he went and made them for us and put them in the little mason jar that i always drink out of long story short he brought it over to me fine i'm sitting there drinking it and all of a sudden i feel like i'm getting wet and i'm like what the hell is going on i look down and i kid you not you guys it is like a waterfall like niagara falls is coming out of this mason jar onto my lap onto my laptop it got sticky on my camera it got all over my brand new blanket that i was snuggled up with it got all over the couch and it is still crunchy and i'm trying to clean it out got all over pillows all over my sweatshirt i was wearing i was soaked i actually took a video um, of it in the sink with water coming out of it so you could see how fast this drink was coming out onto my lap. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. He brought it over to me from the kitchen onto the couch just fine. There was no hole. I lightly stirred it with the metal straw and maybe that caused like a small crack to become a huge hole. I don't know what happened, but long story short, that was a long story, but long story long, it got literally all over, everything was sticky. So we quickly quickly threw in a wash and we tumble dried the blanket on low and it got like a crunchy texture. I'm very sad because I just bought this blanket. It was not cheap. And her beautiful softness is basically gone and I need your guys' help on how to get it back to her normal form did we ruin it it used to be like this luxurious softness and now parts of it are like it feels like like a matted dog hair <laughs> like feels like the dryer like burnt it or ruined it i don't know what happened i'm very upset about it it's still a nice blanket but it's nowhere near how soft and luxurious it was and we tumble dried it on low we had to do it a few times because it was wet but i should have just dried it on the freaking rack i knew i should have done that but if you guys have any tips or tricks on how to get it back to normal I would greatly appreciate that because I'm sad about it. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Like, everywhere I go, number one, number two, and number three. <laughs> you guys follow me everywhere? Every time you look at Bailey, she just looks like that all the time. A happy bell and a sassy bench. All right, well, with all of that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. Do we need space? Yeah, maybe a break. Boy, you're my weakness. Giving we take the love that we make. It's my favorite drug.